Mike from All Snakes here. Ellen McCoy, man, this is for you. Look, okay, you're talking about the Eco Earth. I agree. Um, I was trying to figure out why her scales were getting a little bit weird. It does hold a, it does dry out, but it does tend to hold moisture. But let me show you the corn. One of the my red striped albino corn snake. Now, this guy's been on Echo Earth since I got her. Um, Petco uses it. Uh, not why I use it. I just actually kind of like it. But, sorry, camera. As I don't normally have any problems. The only problem I generally have that it gets everywhere and then gets back in the cage if, you know, something's on your skin. So I get that part of it. So I haven't really had any bacteria problems yet. Um, but my concern to you was, was that what your point was, was, uh, sorry, let me put the camera in your face there, Annabella. Uh, if, uh, if you had any bad experience using this, and if you got, because I was actually about to switch to aspirin. The one that had scale rot is actually on paper towels now. I mean, uh, she's doing good, I mean, this is a heifer... <laughs> You can, yeah, I fattened her up, man. I mean, I know you remember what she looked like beginning of this year. I mean, look at her now, bro. She's got some f weight onto the onto this 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 girl. Anyway, like, and yeah, so you got the nice pearl white belly, no problems there. Nice tongue flicks, awesome feeding response. Um, I always see the snake drink occasionally. So anyway, man, if you got any suggestions about uh, the best bedding to use, I've always heard Aspen, but I was never sure if that would work for just any snake, if it was just a common one. Like, if you got an opinion on bedding, man, uh, please comment below and let me know, bro. Alright? Peace.